All right, welcome back to uh, episode three of our tutorial run through here on Past Prime Gaming. Uh, our tutorial run through for Terraformers, game in early access right now um, from Goblin Studios. And um, very excited about this game. Um, we're on our tutorial mission right now, uh, just kind of showing. How stuff works and uh, we're gonna just keep keep going along here um one thing I did not uh, mention earlier is this meter up here the Mars enthusiasm meter um, so ev every turn uh, this number in green is added to the meter when you grow your population this number is added to your support total um, so you know keeping your population growing can keep your support up um, it's this starts at plus ten, and then every turn it goes down by one. Okay, so we can get a CO two factory for for free. We get that card for free. That's good. Um, that can improve our atmosphere and heat generation, which is good. Um, but what I really want right now is, what I really want is that two extra food. Um, but anyways, let's go ahead and we are going to explore by satellite. Uh, by satellite, we'll go ahead and check out... We'll check out this location down here, maybe. So we get. I we okay. We got extra food, so that is that is good. We can build our hab module. So we're gonna do right here, and we can also build that greenhouse farm. And then the last spot for this city is going to go for the Donley Lab. So, um, so I really do want to have another city spot, which I think is probably going to be the Lava Tube. But most importantly, at this point, actually, is the fact that uh, we are able to get that bacteria spreading started. So I'm going to go ahead and go right there, and we're going to start spreading some of this bacterial life. Um, so it can be, this particular one gets to be spread, it needs uh, only minus one temperature. So that's, that's relatively easier to find. Um, and the closer you spread it to your spreader, the less time it will take. So if you go like one zone away, it's 11. That's also, I guess, technically a neighboring zone. Um, you can only spread to places where you have explored. Um, so that is another reason why those exploration satellites are, are nice, because uh, you can explore farther out to like new, new zones so that uh, you can spread life there. But this will work fine for now. We got some life spreading there that gave us some points, and it also improves our heat increase by one per turn. So that's really good. Um, let's go ahead and uh, we'll go ahead and import another life form here. Um, neither of these are particularly good for us. Um, this one is slightly easier. To, to accomplish, but neither of those were particularly exciting. Okay, so I'm going to use that trade route one more time because I do need five water to pick up a new city spot. Oh, when I get to pick a, another thing, okay. We're going to pick the robot hub so that when we get a new city, um, it can be up and running with spots right away. 
Okay, expectations rise. That is fine. Um, I can get a soil factory or another CO2 factory or a HAB module. Um, of the three of these, uh, I think I probably take the CO2 factory just because it's stuff that I'm producing. But none of those are particularly exciting choices. Okay, so here we've got the possibility to build an alpine forest eventually. Um, I will take this. It's not going to be built soon. Uh, it's going to be a while before we can get that ocean level up. But um, we've got the life form in our pockets now. Uh, so that's good. Anytime you get um, one of the life form uh, specialist governors, it is usually a good idea to use all of their choices uh, just so that you have those options available. And that is assuming that it is, you know, a situation where you need life forms. If you are uh, not interested in terraforming at all, uh, for whatever reason, then, you know, life forms aren't going to be very important to you. I could build uh, a robot hub there, but I do actually want to get additional food. And, uh, well, what I would be giving up for would be a science, really. And I want to keep that science so that I can get that building. So that is that is uh, the situation there. Okay, so we get to pick another one. Uh, Tundra forests are pretty easy to get. So that would be an alright choice. Uh, Arctic rabbits are probably the easiest animal to get, so... That's the easiest animal to spread. If you are going to be spreading animals, that's that's the one, probably. So for what I pick here, um, I'm going to go ahead and pick the laboratory. I definitely want to get that lava tube up and running. I will have plenty of energy to clear out the rocks, so that's not an issue. Uh, we can explore, however. Um, so let's do that, uh, and we'll switch this up so that we are getting additional food, I think. Uh, as for where do we explore, hmm? uh, let's pick a place. Uh, okay, so if it says minus five like this, that means that you'd have to go through a sandstorm to explore it. So they did, your people don't like that idea. Um, so they want you to pick some place that you don't have to do that. And I will go ahead and uh, I'm going to pick this spot right here. So crater, that's another potential city location. Um, I don't know that I will use it, but it's it's there. It's available, I guess. It has the four adjacencies, so that could be handy at some point. This one has got, um, it's got good adjacencies too. And it's got, uh, basically one, two, three spots with three adjacencies, much like the starting city that I've got here. So it's a good location. I'm starting to run out of space here. We can only hold on to eight cards at once. So I really do want to get that one nitrate for every three population. So that would be good. A rover exploration center. This is, I mean, that, that is pretty good. And, uh, okay. 
That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I'm gonna have to toss something. Unless I build it. I, maybe the lab isn't what I need. Maybe this laboratory here isn't what I need. I mean, that would get me one nitrate per turn. What am I using that nitrate for, right? Um... Yeah, that's, that's tricky. Um, I think I probably tossed the animal spreader here, but we'll see. Um, for exploration, let's go ahead and explore here. Okay, Canyon View. Alright. Then we get another exploration choice. Um, Oh, I can explore there for some science. Let's explore there for some science. That also frees up the option to build at the crater if I choose that instead. I don't think I will choose that, but uh, it frees up that option. So I have to toss a project, I'll probably just toss the animal spreader. So this is three more turns until I'm able to build that lava tomb. Uh, unless I get lucky and I explore where there is some food. Um, okay, as far as these options go, none of them are terribly exciting. So I think I'm just going to go ahead and don't research and just take an extra science. And here, I think I've uh, searched all of the locations. There are two, wait, nope, there's one more right here. And that geothermal spot. Uh, can be used for more energy generation. But I've got a lot of energy. I think I've got a lot, a lot of energy. Right. So we've got two more turns until I can get... Or one more turn now until I can get the lava tube started. So let's go ahead and we'll explore something here. Um, what am I going to need some of when I get that going? Uh, three way. Well, let's go ahead and we'll explore the nitrates deposit there. That's fine. And, um, yeah, because that gets us a little bit closer to maybe being able to use that plant spreader eventually. Alright, and as for these, uh, what is useful here? Um, landing pad might be nice, but I already have one. I think I already have one of all of these. I'm just going to go ahead and take that additional science. And now we get a new leader. Uh, what do we got here? We got Oratory. Hope Amali, she is very good if you're having troubles with uh, keeping up in support. Um, she can pick a city and you get 10 support for every population, or you can spend 8 water to get 80 support. Um, both of these are potentially very clutch. And also gets you support per turn for every eight buildings you construct. So that's pretty good. Uh, here we've got robotics. 
uh, propose more projects and you get science and you get extra energy for every six new power uh, you can construct a drone hub. The drone hub's pretty weak building uh, so not super excited about that but it would be nice to possibly get some more choices uh, here you gotta build eight buildings for each support which I mean, in, in the long run was probably probably better it's honestly probably better I'm gonna be using them to explore anyways so that is fine um, okay we'll come back to that first we want to go ahead and establish this city we're founding the city And yeah, so here you get four, I misspoke earlier, it's four radiation protection for being in a lava tube rather than five, but it's still significant protection. And uh, we'll go ahead and build that right there. And then we're going to clear out some of these rocks. So we are going to build the robot hub right away. And with that, let's go ahead and move out to the city here. We'll see where we're at. Um, so with that, we can go ahead and get... Let's get the crystal cave for the silicates. And we're going to get the aquifer for the mine there. We still don't have a set of everything yet. That's slightly disappointing. Okay, at that point, let's go ahead and also, um, I could build the CO2 factory here, or, or the laboratory. I'm leaning towards the CO2 factory, um, just for, yeah. And then, uh, here we can go ahead, and why not both, right? Why not both? Or Kayla Nostos. Alright, so we've got some exploring to do. Now we've got more spots that are just two away from there. A couple more, anyways. So we can do that. There's another crater. Alright, and then we can also explore farther away with our satellite. Uh, any place that's got science? Science anywhere? Over here, there's science. So let's do that. Okay. So, with that, we are able to finally build that, which gives us another three. Now we'll be able to build population much quicker. Uh, so that was, that was a pretty good turn. We were able to build up a lot of stuff here. Um, we are now low on titanium. That is a thing. Uh, this just costs power. You can build build up more atmosphere. But I think I really do want the robot hub. And we're going to switch this up to getting some extra titanium. Because we're going to need that for robots and for landing pads. Oh, uh, or for mines, even just just for mines, robots and mines. Now this is going to be kind of a mining city here. All right, so extra support per turn. That is a thing that happens. This is a bigger power plant. This is. Uh, it gives support along with food. And this is a restaurant district. So, cost of food can give plus three support per turn. Out of these choices, probably the meat lab. I guess. 
I'm not super thrilled about any of them, but out of, out of them, that's probably what I pick. Alright. Uh, so yeah, so let's go ahead and we will... Explore some more. Be looking for some additional titanium here. Oh, we have our first space project. Okay. And it's the orbital ring, which is a very important one. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to do that. Um, and so now what we do is we take our trade routes and we use them to do that. It's going to take a while. Um, so I would really like to get additional trade routes if I can. And here we can go ahead and um, this could be a little bit of additional food per turn, so that's good. Every every food that we make, that's another three three points, so so that's good. Exploring, uh, we're looking three rings out here now. Let's look for something that's got some titanium, like this one. Okay, so here we can go ahead and um, I'm not really concerned with building another adjacency necessarily there. Uh, so let's go ahead and just build our robots here. And okay, so I've got some choices here now. I can get additional. Get additional silicates. Okay, so you see these three lines? That means that if the ocean gets up to level three, then this will flood. That's not likely to happen in this game, so I'm not super worried about that. So I would like another landing pad. I could just right over mine with it. That seems a little bit of a waste. So instead what I'm gonna do is we'll go ahead and uh, we'll take this. And then I am not gonna build a... Oh, it's got a water deposit though. It's actually kind of a nice location. Oh, I'm not going to build this city here. So we're going to go ahead and take that crater, and we're going to build a landing pad there. And we can, oh, we can build this twice as quickly. And only, and only 11 turns rather than 22. So that's that's a big improvement. So we get some options here. I'm definitely taking the titanium. Uh, here we can pick a hab module, a tuber farm. Um, I think I'm taking the hab module just so I have the ability to build something else here. Um, In the meantime, uh, if I build one more building, I get a support. Well, I mean, I'm going to build this mine here. So that's additional silicates per turn. I still don't have any nitrate mines. No nitrate income yet. It's a little bit of a shame. So we're going to search for, uh, what are we searching for? Okay, uh, we're out of them that are two away. Let's go ahead and search for, let's see, don't necessarily need water. 
let's go ahead and, and we'll do there. The sandstones, all right. And here, I think we're just looking to ex search new areas out. So, check that out. And we got 10 food, so that's really good. That's very handy. Alright, so we've got the orbital solar panels. I don't think we necessarily need that. Luxury workshop, that's worth 10 points. So that's worth considering, because it's, it's 10 points. This is worth 9, uh, but it will take longer to build. We've got the school. Silicates and titanium. Well, let's go ahead and um, first of all, let me go ahead and build that hab module there. We're gonna do that first. And then we're looking around here and uh, we can. deposit there for even more silicates. I wish I had another titanium mine, honestly. But that's way down there. That's not happening anytime soon. So, that being the case, uh, let's explore that. Crater is looking pretty good, honestly. I'll explore there next time. Hmm. Um. Hmm. This is a tough choice. But I think I just take. Silicus deposit. I, I, oh, I get a choice here. Um, luxury workshop, orbital solar panels. I think once we get that, that's going to be fine. So we'll go ahead and do that. Uh, definitely temperate forest before deer. I'm not going to. I don't think I'm gonna get the chance to do deer. But this this card right here, super important card, the development center. Um, probably one of the more important cards in the game. Uh, you get to pick an extra project every turn. So you get to pick two cards instead of one. So if you're getting a lot of resources, that is super important. Yeah, I think uh, next I'm going to build a city here. In the meantime, uh, this, go ahead and build this development center here, because that's very important. Um, I can also spread a bacteria, so we're going to go ahead and do that. So now we're at plus three heat per turn. All right. And then I get to select another project even. So that's, that's good. Um, of these, is that road paver department important? And the gas factory, I can actually just plop that down. We'll just do that because I, I can, I can just build that. So we'll start getting the benefits for that sooner. Hey, you've got the miner's cottage. 
or a greenhouse farm or a photovoltaic field. I'm going to take the miner's cottage here. Um, eventually I will need places to, to have people live there, so that is important. Um, let's go ahead and we will explore someplace. This three-way. I like to explore there. Sure. It's a lava tube. Okay. And then if I explore here, I get to see another uh, another location there. So that's good. So the question then is, do I want to build that? Oh, this is pretty good because that is, um, this location has a lot of mines. I could even, counterpoint, I could build here and get that nitrate mine in the first ring. It's a tough choice. I get to pick another project. Um, we'll go ahead and pick the greenhouse farm. pick that because um, I can just build it right away. We're even gonna here. I'm gonna move this over to here. Maybe set up a farming adjacency there. And uh, then the other thing that I would do here would be can build that composting factory here. We're going to do that. We're, we'll go ahead and build the miner's cottage there first. Oh, Mars Quake. Okay. So that damaged our robot hub and a mine. Uh, so let's see here. Oh. Okay, so that's damaged. So that is costing us 10 support a turn. It would take 4 turns to repair on its own. I think I can afford that. That's fine. Uh, the other thing that was damaged was the robot hub. Which will take, again, the same. So that's 20 per turn. Uh, for four turns, that's 80. That's, that's going to cost me. I think I can afford that. Um, not the end of the world there. Okay, so looking for something that's three away. Uh, let's go ahead and search this one. So I, I can, I've got enough for a plant spreader. Okay, and I can pick two things. There's the touring company, which is not really a building that I usually pick. I'm not big on the locations like that, unless if I'm if I'm picking these guided tours, I'm I'm in a very bad spot. Um, so I'm not really into the touring company. There's the radio telescope and another bacteria spreader. Uh, I think I will take those two options. So here you see the mountain option. That means if you build it on a location that is in considered high altitude, you get an additional bonus. Alright. 
Earth, and we got a spacecraft crash, but I'm not trading with Earth right now anyway, so that is fine. Uh, here, we're definitely going to take the research center and probably the... Oh, the oxygen factory. I'm going to hold off on that second choice for a moment. We're going to build our miner's cottage here. That is definitely going to go towards... We've got the nitrates now, so that's fine. Now I think we go for the large silicates deposit. Right? How do we go for the geothermal? I'll honestly probably go for the geothermal spot because this could be taken from that lava tube there if we wanted to. That's going to cost a bit of titanium. Or I can do this to get two extra comfort of living in that location. So that would be an extra six points. It's kind of six points either way. I'm going to hold off on that, though. Uh, we're going to get the oxygen factory there. And we'll just go ahead and... Build an oxygen factory. And also a CO2 factory there. There. So this location's big on the terraforming. Could build another bacteria spreader. That is definitely an option. Or we could build that plant spreader. The plant life forms that I have, they would take take rainfall, and they don't have any rainfall yet. So plant spreader, not so great. I think I just take the probably the geothermal energy. But we will see what shows up here. Um, we'll take igloos. Yeah, I'll take the igloos. Um, they'll be. Good housing for some at some point here. And let's see. Collect some resources there. Uh, and we do want some extra titanium. So let's go ahead and get this one here. Large meteorite landed there. That's good. It could be just a couple turns until I can get that crater online. I'll get to pick another one, huh? Uh, we'll take the meat lab. So I'm gonna wait till I get some kind of thing here that can. Give me happiness for those. It is plus 100 support. Oh, because our terraforming level increased. Okay, so that's really good. And what do we have for our next choices? We got recycling, which is uh, that's super good. That's three silicates for every titanium, and you get a titanium for every rock that you remove. Um, and you can give them build sewage treatment plants, huh? Our other option is city planning. 
so when you build new 13th, 14th, or 15th buildings, you get extra support. You can just automatically get some living places. Um, okay. Good over workplaces. We're going to go ahead and do this because uh, being able to convert those silicates to titanium is, is a very big deal. For what to do though, I mean, or do I just explore? Right, just exploring is always is also good. I think I explore. I think that's that's the right move. Put yourself in this three away. That titanium is important. Oh. Uh, I can build a couple of things here. Public baths. Okay. That's good. Maybe another bacteria spreader. Also potentially good. Okay, spaceport. Spaceports are good. Um, so our Android hubs. Uh, the spaceport is probably less important because I've got the orbital ring, maybe. It seems kind of funny to say that, but uh, probably true. Being said, I can pick it and just kind of hold it. Because uh, I can hold up to 10 right now, so... So no harm in doing that. This is 16 for that. Right, let's go ahead and we will we'll look there. Rising expectations again. Oh wait, ooh, combined living center is a good one. Cultured meat lab, fusion plant. Uh, we'll see. Uh, first, though, we're gonna build in this crater. And here we'll go ahead with. We'll start there. We'll go ahead and build a mine on that. This will give us more choices, so that's important. Get some titanium. This gives us a few places to expand to. Build that nitrate mine. So we'll expand to those places. For our next trick, let's see here. Let's see if we can find some titanium. Next time, we'll see. Um, 
as far as that goes, that probably will take some time. We're gonna build another bacteria spreader. Oh, and this here, okay. Well, if I could have replaced this here, and I could get an extra titanium here. It's actually not terrible. We'll do it. Like it's, uh, it's the second set, right? Oh nope, I need another tritium to complete the set. Okay. All right then. Uh, Fine. Let's clear that out. And uh, we will uh, build another food producing place here. That's another six points for that building. This is a pretty good building. Six points. Oh, I get to pick a couple more here. So, I'll take another one of these cultured meat labs, and I'm going to take the combined living center, definitely. Public baths is good. And take that. Um, and we'll also take the research center. So, okay, we can enable this. So now I have five trade routes per turn, which is very good. So we should be able to finish that pretty quickly now. Yep, um, we're up to 182, so that's good. I can build a mine there over the water. We'll go ahead and explore here or here. Here. So we can go ahead and build another one of these. Another six points, and uh, we're at ten food a turn, so that's a pretty good growth rate. I right, got some choices here. We've got an insect farm. Um, probably not. A luxury workshop. More igloos. Uh, I think I'd probably take these two. We have to toss something here. Not sure what yet. We'll find out soon, I guess. Or maybe I don't have to toss something. This is going to be some good happiness there. Up to 205. Oh, there's a a tritium mine there. Neither one of these are particularly interesting to me. It's fine. That is some delivery drones. 
cloud seeding. Okay. That could be fun. I think I take these two. There. Okay, so I can actually afford. Can afford another one of these. We'll go with the combined living center. Maybe that gives me two. So here, we're going to go ahead and build a spaceport. And I can export that and import another one of those, that's good. And then over here. Hmm. Nitrates or silicates? I guess that's the question. And we'll take the we'll take the nitrates. I will have to wait another turn to to do that. First off, we'll take the mine there. And uh, we'll go ahead and put down the extra research thing there. Oh, I can't put it there. Ha ha ha. Right, okay, put it there. Uh, which also gives me some choices, or get, also gives me some points. Didn't even think about that, but it does. Right. As far as that goes, let's go ahead and uh, we'll convert convert some resources there. This is going to be another 10 points also. So that's good. We'll take the 10 points. All right, 227 now. Uh, trade routes. Go ahead and... I got 7 of them, huh? Will I have 7? I will have 7. So I can do that. I can pick two of these. I mean, this, I guess, and I guess this. We could just spread some more, okay. That is going to be spreading here. This one will be spreading here. There we go. Okay, so we've got a layer of atmosphere, so that's great. 
importing oceans would be good, so we'll pick that. Then also... Automated robotic workforce is uh, pretty fantastic. So I can be like three comfort there. I don't know if I'm going to necessarily need that. So two, and then one, two, three, four, five. That's all of them that I have, okay. Uh, let's go ahead and make some more. Yeah, sure. I got to toss one. Um, yeah, we'll just put that there. It's fine. I don't think it matters that much. We've only got 40 left to go. Writing would be good. Auction factory doesn't necessarily help us at this point. I don't know that any of these help us really. We're just going to take the extra research point. Twenty nine more points, so twenty three more points. now. 17 points now. Exporting for that uh, silicates, I guess. I guess that works. there and we'll go ahead and uh, right, right. Uh, okay so I've got I've got public baths so honestly probably pretty close to all I need that's plus four comfort of living uh, yeah, that would do it. That's enough. Turn 39, we are successful. Congratulations. Sorry this episode went kind of double long, uh, but we were in a groove, and we were going, and we made it happen. Uh, so yeah, so that is, that is a game of Terraformers, um... I'm so excited to, to be playing more of this game. Uh, I love it a lot. 
and um, yeah, I'm eager to show you more of it. Uh, if you like what you saw, hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, and let me know that you like this game and you want to see more of it, um, and it'll help the channel grow. So, thank you so much, and uh, see you next time on Past Prime Gamers.